Well, you see, one of the things is that um, a director of a film is both the architect as well as the mason. You know, he does both. He, he not only conceptualizes how the film should be, but also makes it happen. In other words, he designs the house and also builds it. So that's what the job of a film director is. You know, because most people really have no idea who a film director is, what his job consists of. But actually, this is what it consists of. He is both the architect as well as the mason. So why do you think this book would be uh, uh, could make a pertinent read, pertinent read for aspiring filmmakers and filmmakers and even the general public? Well, generally because you know you you would like to know how everybody approaches his craft. You know you'd like to know how a, a painters a mural painter would paint a mural, or a, a portraitist how he paint portraits. The same thing. How you you'd like to know how a person makes a film. How are films made? How are they directed? Who gives them the shape? Who gives them the idea? All these various things. Because you see, in the director, it's a culmination of practically all the arts of the cinema. Because the eventual focus, you know, of the film is really what the director brings to it. And what you see on the screen is something that he has put together with all the number of talents that he can make use of, whether it's actors, whether it is music directors, composers, you know, costume designers, the people who design sets. So you have any number of different kinds of crafts and arts that go into the making of films. And but who orchestrates it all? Who is actually the conductor of that particular orchestra? It's the director. Oh, so one last question. Uh, you came across an uh, uh, inspiring uh, expression once. Bash on regardless. What did it mean? Well, it meant a great deal to me because, you know, it, 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 I used to, when I was making my first feature film, Ankur, uh, I was going through all kinds of problems. First of all, I didn't have enough money. And then while I was making it, we would have any number of problems that first filmmakers have. And I used to go to this location, which is about uh, 12 or 14 kilometers away from where I used to stay. And every day I would go past a kind of uh, cantonment uh, place where there was a particular regiment that was there. And what used to give me heart was what their motto was. And that mo motto was bash on regardless. And you know, it's always been for me the most important thing. You know, on, on the low days when you feel that this is not going to be accomplished, the only way to accomplish it is to remember bash on regardless. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for honoring our book by being in it. <laughs> Thank you.